Here we go. Atlantic Broadband Cable in cooperation with the South Union Township Supervisors presents the South Union Township Sports Network tonight by a tape delay from the A.J. Everhart Memorial Gymnasium, home of the Uniontown Boys Basketball Team. The Uniontown Red Raiders take on the Laurel Highlands Mustangs. Hi, everybody. I'm Gary Frankhauser, along with Daniel Wallace and Jerry Dupay. We welcome you aboard for tonight's basketball action. The South Union Township Sports Network coverage is brought to you as a joint cooperative venture featuring Township Supervisors Bob Schiffbeier, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott, Atlantic Broadband Cable, Armstrong Cable, and CU TV with J.R. Wheeler and Gary Smith. This is Gary Frankhauser, Daniel Wallace alongside Jerry Dupay on the camera. We'll be back with the lineups for both teams after these messages on the South Union Township Sports Network. Ted Sobel, Body and Fender Repair, LLC, is proud to be a sponsor of the South Union Township Sports Network. They have been serving the area with quality work and integrity for more than 40 years, and they would like to again thank their past customers and look forward to serving new customers as well. Ted Sobel, Body and Fender Repair, LLC, works with all insurance companies and provides assistance with car rental arrangements that coordinate with the auto repair work. The rental company will meet with you at our facility to accommodate your rental needs. As a member of the DuPont Assurance of Quality program, our refinishes are guaranteed and all repairs have a lifetime warranty as long as the customer owns the vehicle. Ted Sova Body and Fender Repair LLC clearly recognizes and understands the current and ever-changing atmosphere that exists in today's collision repair and insurance industries. So please contact Ted Sova Body and Fender Repair, LLC, located at Atlas Road in Hopwood. That's Ted Sova Body and Fender Repair, LLC, offering complete collision service for both domestic and foreign vehicles for more than 40 years. For more information, please stop by or call us at 724-437-2351. We care about the environment. We've always been eco-friendly facility and we are currently going through the process of being recognized by the U.S. EPA's Design for the Environment program. For all of your auto body needs, come to Ted Sova Body and Fender Repair because there is a difference. So please contact Ted Sova Body and Fender Repair, LLC, located at Atlas Road in Hopwood. That's Ted Sova Body and Fender Repair, LLC, offering complete collision service for both domestic and foreign vehicles for more than 40 years. For more information, please stop by or call us at 724-437-2351. Good luck to the Mustangs from the South Union Township Supervisors, Rick Vernon, Jason Scott, and Robert Schiffbar. Welcome back to the A.J. Everhart Gymnasium. Here's your starters for the visiting Laurel Highlands Mustangs coming in eight and six overall, three and three in section play under head coach Rick Hogger. Starting at guard, number one, a six foot two sophomore, Bryce Lasky. At one of the forwards, number 12, Will Dykert, a six foot two junior forward. Also at forward, number 13, Jake Swartz, a six foot four junior. Number 21, a 5'11 senior guard, Daniel Cavani, rounding out the starting five. Number 24, a 6'2 junior forward, Hudson Novak. Here with the starters for the Uniontown Red Raiders, Daniel Wallace. Starting at guard for the Uniontown Red Raiders, a 5'10 junior, number three, Lorenzo Odin. Also at guard, a 5'11 senior, number 10, Armani Williams. At forward, a 6'3 senior, number 12, Ben Wilson. Another guard for the Uniontown Red Raiders, the 5'7", senior number 14, Phil Mosley. 
And the final starter for the Red Raiders tonight, a 5'10 junior guard, number 22, Malachi Howard. A guard-dominated team for the Uniontown Red Raiders and the Mustangs also with a small lineup. So it's going to be interesting to see how things turn out here. First meeting between the Crosstown rivals, Red Raiders and the Mustangs. We're going to be back with the opening tip after these messages on the South Union Township Sports Network. Tonight's game is being brought to you in part by State Representative Tim Mahoney of the 51st Legislative District. With offices in Uniontown and Chalk Hill, Representative Mahoney is dedicated to providing the best leadership and quality representation to his constituents. He can be reached at 66A Lebanon Avenue in Uniontown, 724-438-6100, and in Chalk Hill, at 2925 National Pike, 724-437-2521. Good luck to all of the area teams from State Representative Tim Mahoney of the 51st Legislative District. Welcome back to the A.J. Everhart Memorial Gymnasium. We're just about ready for the introductions by the PA announcer of the starting lineups. And Daniel, a very important game coming in here to finish the first half of the season for both teams in the uh, section. Both teams, com both teams coming in 3-3 three and three in section fighting for that last playoff spot. And one very important matchup to watch all night long. Uniontown doesn't have much size, but Ben Wilson down low, 6-3. He's going to be matched up with LH's leading scorer, Jake Schwartz, down on the block at 6-4. Who's going to win that battle? Defense. Welcome back to the A.J. Everhart Memorial Gymnasium. We're just about ready for the introductions by the PA announcer of the starting lineups. And Daniel, a very important game coming in here to finish the first half of the season for both teams in the uh, section both teams come both teams coming in three and three in section fighting for that last playoff spot and one very important matchup to watch all night long Uniontown doesn't have much size but Ben Wilson down low 6-3 he's gonna be matched up with LH's leading scorer Jake Schwartz down on the block at 6-4 who's gonna win that battle defense with Ben Wilson the best defender on the entire Uniontown team or Jake Schwartz the leading scorer for the Mustangs it's gonna be very interesting to see and we're just about ready for the national anthem Gentlemen, please remove your hats as we honor the United States of America with the singing of our national anthem by Miss Isabella Scott. And please remain standing for the Uniontown alma mater by our Raider Dozen. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so Twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watch were so gallant. Yeah. 
still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the Beautiful rendition there of the national anthem. Here's the Red Raider alma mater. As our PA announcer sets out the starting lineups again for you, it's going to be interesting here. It's cold and snowy outside, but it's going to heat up in a hurry inside, Daniel, and uh, full house here as usual at the uh, gymnasium between the Crosstown rival Uniontown Red Raiders and the Laurel Highlands Mustangs. A couple um, players conspicuous by their absence for the Mustangs here tonight, Cameron Holt not dressed, as well as David Runco. Both have contributed throughout the first half of the season, and uh, Cameron Holt, I think, will be missed mostly on the defensive side. Well, and Cameron Holt, a normal starter for the Mustangs. He started every single game, I believe, that he's played for the Mustangs this year, so he'll be replaced in that starting lineup by Will Dykert, who's been a, a massive contributor for this Mustang team as well. And the one thing that the, the Mustangs have to utilize is the massive height advantage that they do have over these Red Raiders. Only one player above six foot for Uniontown, and that is Ben Wilson. With the Mustangs, they have four of them. The only player in the starting lineup under six foot for the Mustangs is Daniel Cavaney, standing at 5'11". When you look at the Uniontown roster, they've got a couple guys at 5'10". Phil Mosley, the point guard, only standing at 5'7". Laurel Highlands, if they can push the ball inside to Schwartz, push it inside to Novak, and even get Will Dykert working inside a little bit, that'll put Uniontown back on their heels and leave Bryce Lasky open eventually for those outside jump shots. You're right about that, but uh, looking at the Red Raiders, as you said, Phil Mosley just 5'7", but he's their leading scorer, and he makes things happen for the Red Raiders. Very quick on his feet, will uh, take it to the hoop and uh, also draw the foul, so he'll be looking to be aggressive on the offensive side for the Red Raiders. Even at his 5'7 stature, he is very capable of putting the ball in the hoop at any time. Well, and he's a dynamic player for the Red Raiders. And what the, what the Red Raiders want to try to do, they know they have the speed advantage over the Mustangs. They want to get out in transition. They want to get out on the fast break very quickly, use that speed, get to the rim, not give the Mustangs a chance to get their defense set. That's the way the Uniontown Red Raiders are going to be able to win this game, is if they can do it in transition, score quick, and score in bunches. That's how they win a lot of their games, by putting up a lot of points. And then they come right back out in that full court press, which gives teams a lot of trouble. And that turnovers will be the key, and the Mustangs will have to maintain their poise, try to beat, try to beat that press. Uh, without giving up many turnovers and easy hoops on the uh, on the comeback by the Red Raiders. We're ready to go. Jumping center for the Mustangs, number 24, Hudson Novak. For the Red Raiders, number 12, Ben Wilson. Mustangs put all four defenders on the defensive side of the tip. And Novak tips it back to Lasky, and he controls early over to Cavani, who will bring it up the right side, facing what appears to be a 1-2-2 zone defense by the Red Raiders. On oh, its extended zone, too, and that's going to leave it open underneath. Lasky for three, can't hit, but battling for the rebound, pulled out of there by number 14, Mosley, the 5 7 guard. Quickly back, Malachi Howard to the hoop, can't hit. Wilson with the rebound, kicks it back out to Mosley for three. <laughs> Phil Mosley on the board first for the Red Raiders, sets up that 2 2 1 zone press. Lasky down the side, all the way across to Novak. Well, the Mustangs are going to have to watch those long passes like that. This is Dykert on the block. Gets to Swartz. High arcing shot. Can't get it to fall. And the Red Raiders come out quickly again. Odin to the hoop. Good defensive play there by Jake Swartz, keeping his body in position. Cavani now to the hoop. And he is fouled on the way in. Going to be on 
number three, Lorenzo Oden, his first, team first, and will send Daniel Cavani to the line for the Mustangs, trailing three to nothing early. Well, that full court tra trap, we can already see the Mustangs are gonna struggle with it. Lasky throwing a deep pass. They've gotta watch that. This Uniontown team has the athleticism where a lot of those long passes, they don't have the length, but they can still get back and take those passes away. Cavani hard off the back iron on the first one. I think foul shots is going to be, are going to be a key here also, Daniel. With uh, the aggressive play on both sides, I think both teams will be at the line a lot as Cavani hits the second, cuts the lead to 3-1. to one. And the Mustangs have struggled with that this year as they drop back into their 2-3 zone. Free throw shooting has not been their specialties early in the year. Spin move and score for Ben Wilson. Five to one, the Red Raiders lead as the Mustangs break the press. Coming up the middle now, Diker back to Lasky. Lasky being picked up there on top. This is Novak from the corner, can't hit. Swartz with the offensive board and put back. Jake Swartz will be looking to do that all night, picking up those garbage hoops inside. And with their size, the Mustangs, they have to win the battle down on the glass, both on the offensive end and the defensive end. Can't give the Raiders second chance Mosley opportunities. brings it right back. Now we got a call inside a defensive rebounding I'm sorry an offensive rebounding foul is going to be called on the Red Raiders foul on Wilson I believe that is the call that's his first team second so good box out there by the Mustangs results in a rebounding foul Cavani to Swartz good backdoor move to Dykert finds Novak underneath can't get it up though Red Raiders really attacking the ball once it got low to Hudson Novak. Thought about the three deep, but takes the one dribble left hand to the hoop. That was Armani Williams. Now quickly back, picked off by Mosley and a foul by Dykert. Just as you said, Daniel, quickness in that backcourt will give the Mustangs all kind of problems on those long passes. Well, most of these players for the Uniontown Red Raiders are football players too. Four of the starting five, Mosley, Odin, Wilson, and Howard, all football players as well, all with great speed. There's nobody on this Uniontown Red Raider team that doesn't have the athleticism to get back and take away those passes. Going to the hoop that time was Ben Wilson picking up the foul on Jake Swartz, his first team second, but Jake will have to try to stay out of foul trouble, keeping himself in the game. Throughout the season, periodically, he has picked up two, maybe three fouls in the first half and has to, had to sit for long periods of time. Wilson strong on the first one. Well, he's not the only one that struggled with the foul issue. Hudson Novak in the Mustangs' last outing, five fouls and only five minutes of action throughout the entire game, and then he fouled out. One of those was a technical, but he's been prone to getting himself into early foul trouble as well. Wilson misses the second. Novak with the rebound. Lasky being harassed out top by Mosley over to Cavani. Now long pass inside to Novak, tries a spin move, and it's knocked out of bounds there by Malachi Howard. Stays with the Mustangs. This will be Dykert taking it out underneath the Mustang hoop in the corner to Novak. Novak swings it out to Cavani. Cavani has it tipped away, and Lasky unable to pick it up. Mosley to the hoop, blocked by Cavani. Good play there as Wilson tries to post up inside and stolen away by Novak. Hudson Novak now aggressive to the hoop. Too hard. Out of bounds to the Red Raiders. It's an opposite defensive strategy for both teams. Uniontown can use that press with their speed, cause problems for the Mustangs. But Laurel Highlands, Uniontown is not much of an outside shooting team. They like to take the ball to the rim. Mosley's really the only big time outside threat. The Mustangs need to pack it in, force them to take the outside shots. You can dominate the boards and get the steals when they're there when they try to go inside. Now inside again to Wilson. Spin move to his left and scores. Nice po post move that time. Ben Wilson, Jake Swartz trying to maintain his position, did not want to pick up that second foul. Swartz, top of the key, to the hoop, left hand, can't get it to go. Novak can't get the rebound. Coming out now quickly is Williams. Williams will go to the hoop, and he will score left-handed. Armani Wilson puts the Red Raiders out to a 9-3 lead with 4.24 to go here in the first. 
Mustangs, very few quality opportunities here early as Dykert gets it to Novak. Can't get it to go. Mustangs just have a lid on the hoop right now. There's been a lot of physical play down low between the two teams already. Two, only two fouls aside. Referees letting them play. Something you like to see in a game like this. A lot of emotion. Mosley deep. Lasky pulls down a rebound. Inside to Swartz. Down low, blocked by Wilson one time. Blocked again, now we get a foul. And coming from the back side, Ben Wilson, his arms are straight up. If this is against Wilson, that's a bad foul call. And that will be his second if that's the case. And it is Wilson. Two shots will be awarded to Jake Swartz as Ben Wilson picks up his second. And the Mustangs trying to Get on the board as Swartz hits the first. Nine to four, five point lead for the Red Raiders. 3.51 to go here in the first. And here comes the physicality down low for the Mustangs. Chayton Burchick in. Michael Jones checks in for the Red Raiders, replacing Wilson. Odin. Across to Williams. Williams back to Odin on top. Mustangs back in that 2-3 zone. This is Williams. Odin was on top open, and that ball was blocked. Dykert with the outlet pass from Jake Swartz over to Cavani. In the corner, Lasky will shoot the three way off long. Little strong for Bryce on his first attempt. Odin to Mosley in the corner. He dribbles off his foot, and Cavani comes away with the turnover. Lasky now, bringing it ahead. 1-3-1 one, one zone now for the Red Raiders as Diker will take the three from the corner. Can hit, and that's gonna be knocked out of bounds off the Red Raiders. Mustang ball in front, front of the Red Raider bench. Another substitution for the Red Raiders, Trent Uphold getting in for the first time, giving the Red Raiders a little bit more size down on the low block. Cavani on top to Lasky. Lasky setting things up, unable to score at all from the perimeter so far. The Mustangs just cannot find the rhythm as Lasky running one-hander, no good. Picked up inside is Burchick. What are we going to call? On the floor. They called a foul on the floor. We miss Chayton Burchick checking in for the Mustangs. That's going to be out of bounds to the Mustangs. Foul called on number 22, Malachi Howard, his first, team fourth. Dykert into Swartz, got it down low, can't get it to go again, and the Mustangs just cannot buy a hoop. Nine to five with 2.36 to go. Pass broken up again, Dykert with the re pull, and now what do we got? A travel as Dykert stood up on his knees after the ball was down on the court, and that's an automatic travel call on the Mustangs. Connor DeMoss in now for the Red Raiders as well. More size down low to match the Mustangs. But what the Red Raiders have been doing so well on the defensive side so far is disrupting. The Long three-pointer that time by Jones. Couldn't get it to go. The but the offensive rebound, long rebound. Pass down underneath. The battle for the ball. Held ball back to the Red Raiders. They're disrupting the Uniontown or the Laurel Highland shots down low. Schwartz. Leading scorer not being able to get good looks down on the block. Hudson Novak's had a little bit of a problem with it. Really the only good look has come down low from Chayton Burchick on a foul that was on the floor. It's his Odin for three. Stretches that Red Raider lead out to 12 to five. With just 2.05 to go here in the first. Lasky to Novak. Good pass to Burchick. Can't get it to go. Swartz with the rebound and the putback. And that's how the Mustangs are going to have to find a lot of their points. Second chance opportunities. you got to get those offensive rebounds against a small team like Uniontown. Odin feeling it a little bit. Now he gets his own rebound as it's tipped out. Shot to three being guarded there by Lasky. Good fake and move to the hoop. In and out. Burchek with the rebound. Cavani trying to get it into the post to Swartz. He does inside to Burchek. Swing it out and there's a pickoff by Odin. Left hand layup will score. Lorenzo Odin with five points here in the quarter. 
Have the Red Raiders out to a seven point, 14-7 lead. Cavani to Swartz. Tipped away now as Novak goes baseline. To Lasky for three. Can't get it to go. Novak trying to get the rebound pulled out by Mosley. Mosley using that quickness. He'll go all the way in and he'll pick up the foul this time on Hudson Novak. The speed of Mosley was the key on that fast break because he just got ahead of everybody and Novak trying to come back and clean things up. Fouled him with the body. Two shots for Phil Mosley. Mosley short on the first one. Has won three pointers so far. And now Rick Hogger, he's got to look at adjusting the offense. What they've been doing so far hasn't been working. They need to take more time. They've been looking at quick shots so far. You can't beat the speed of the Red Raiders, so don't try to do it. Move the ball around. That's the way you're going to beat them. The ball's always faster than the man. Look for the quality shots instead of trying to force the ball inside and get quick looks at the basket. Novak now goes baseline, running one-hander, can't get it. There's Schwartz again with the putback, and Novak can't get it to go. Three opportunities for the Mustangs and no points. Mosley comes back now. Odin has it blocked by Lasky. In the corner now, this is Mosley for three. He hits. 17-7, 10-point lead for the Red Raiders here in the first. 22 seconds remaining. Lasky now to Burchek. Tries to get it into Swartz, has it knocked away. Novak cannot get it to go. Swartz finally gets a hoop for the Mustangs. Cuts it to 17-9. Red Raiders will hold for one with six seconds now to go. Facing that 2-3 zone. Odin, he'll launch the three. No good. Novak, three-quarter court shot. Short. And that will do it for the first period with the Red Raiders leading 17-9. We'll be back with seven second quarter action after this on the South Union Township Sports Network. Centers for Rehab Services, CRS, a part of UPMC and the Center for Sports Medicine is a proud sponsor of the South Union Township Sports Network and its coverage of area youth sports Make Centers for Rehab Services your choice for all of your physical and occupational therapy needs. CRS, located at 160 Wayland Smith Drive, provides physical therapy, occupational therapy, work injury programs, and hand therapy. Valuing patient satisfaction is one of their highest priorities. Centers for Rehab Services offers a patient-centered environment where each patient has an individualized treatment plan developed for their specific needs. They are experts in helping you recover from injuries, increase strength, and build endurance. CRS professionals have become highly skilled through a strong commitment to continuing education and advanced certifications to ensure the most cutting edge and cost effective treatment for their patients. Jim Burns, a lifetime Uniontown area resident, is a licensed physical therapist and facility director of the Uniontown location as well as a field faculty instructor for Duquesne University and for the University of Pittsburgh School of Physical Therapy. He invites you to stop by his state-of-the-art location and discuss your rehabilitation needs. Center for Rehab Services is participating with most insurance plans including all Highmark products, UPMC Health Plan and Medicare. Available five days a week and offering extended hours for patient convenience. Patients are seen within 24 to 48 hours and walk-ins are always welcome. Patients may also be seen through direct access, which does not require a physician's prescription. CRS worked with physicians and other health care providers to help you find relief, live your life again, and get you back into the game. For more information, call CRS at 724-437-7500. Where you treat for physical therapy is always your choice, so ask for Centers for Rehab Services. It's your health, it's your choice. Creditors calling you day and night? Your debt overwhelms you? Although you may feel that you're in a hopeless situation, Zebli Mahalov and White can help. We're a full-service local bankruptcy firm that knows what a difficult time this is and what to do to help you get a fresh start. Call Zebley, Mahalov, and White today for a free consultation. 
your hometown bankruptcy firm. Call us today. Don't borrow more money until you talk to Zebley, Mahalath, and White. We're back and ready for second quarter action. Red Raiders on top, 17-9. to Here with your second quarter play-by-play -play is Daniel Wallace. Laura Highland struggling inside to get anything going so far. They come back out in the second quarter. Lasky, Cavani, Schwartz, Burchick, and Novak. The Red Raiders, they come out with Mosley, Odin, Howard, Jones down low, and Armani Williams. Ben Wilson still sitting on the bench with those two first quarter fouls. He'll probably sit for the majority here the second quarter. Cavani. Red Raiders switch it up, go man to man. Lasky out top, goes down low. Novak off the glass, lays it in. They finally get Hudson Novak going inside his first bucket of the night. Really, Jake Schwartz, the only one to score from the field for the Mustangs in the first quarter. Got to get more production out of Novak. Jones in the corner. Goes to Mosley, back out top, Lorenzo Oden. Still in that 2-3 zone for the Mustangs. Mosley, he'll take another deep three. Too strong off the back iron, tipped around, and Jake Schwartz comes away with a rebound. Lasky will bring it across. Cavani inside Schwartz one more time. Lays it up, no good, and Mosley there for the rebound, but Chayton Burchick right over the top of Mosley, who's going to pick up his first foul. Uncharacteristic there of Jake Schwartz, just point blank range, unable to finish from the left side, and Coach Hogger just beside himself on the Mustangs' inability to concentrate on those little bunnies inside and pick up those easy hoops. They've had plenty of opportunities. They finished those. This is a whole different ball game. Laurel Highlands, they could find themselves in a tie ball game or even on top. Mosley inside to Williams at the free throw line. He'll drive, scoop shot off the glass, it goes. Beautiful scoop shot there by Armani Williams. Scoop special. Four points for Armani here so far in the first half. Cavani in the corner to Novak. He'll look to drive, kick back out, Lasky left open. He passes it up, goes back inside Burchick to Novak, and he's fouled. Body foul, contact, good idea there by Hudson Novak, taking it to the hoop and just drew the contact with Armani Williams. That's his first, and I believe team fifth for Uniontown. So Novak is going to get his first chance at the line tonight. And Novak off the right side of the rim on the first. Free throw shooting has been a massive issue for the Laurel Highlands Mustangs this season. It's been a difference in a couple of the games that they've lost. Second one, Novak too strong on that one as well. And Malachi Howard comes away with the board. He'll slow that should it. have been a backcourt, and it was. You are from where you left. That is the rule. <laughs> he didn't get himself established in the front court, so an over and back for the Uniontown Red Raiders. A bad turnover. Laurel Highlands, they're going to get a free chance here after that. Trailing 19 to 11. Schwartz down low. Novak off the glass. Good look there by Jake Schwartz. Backdoor play. That's a set play when he gets the ball at the top of the circle or at the foul line. Look for that backdoor coming from the corner. Williams, he'll drive into the lane. Puts a shot up. And Armani Williams is having his way here in the second quarter once he gets into the paint. Mustang defense cannot allow him to penetrate like that uncontested. Cavani hands off to Lasky. Right back to Daniel Cavani on the left wing. He looks to drive inside. Cavani will put up a shot in the paint. No. Rebound tipped around. Schwartz finds it. He'll put up a shot from the paint. Off the glass. No. And finally Jones comes away with the board and he traveled. Michael Jones pulled it down. Unforced error there, Daniel. He got the feet moving a little too quickly, and the Mustangs will get it back on another bad turnover. Officials Dave Truffa, Bob Saxman, and Steve Gestrich. Quick inbounds, looking for Schwartz who had position, but it's knocked away by the Red Raiders. And Armani Williams will bring it across the timeline. Turnabout, fair play. Mustangs hand it right back after being given a gift on the unforced error. Mosley on the left wing, pulls it back out. Howard now. He looks to drive baseline, puts up a shot, doesn't go. Rebound by Burchick, and now Jake Schwartz might want to run a little bit. Hudson Novak with it, goes right back inside to Schwartz with Jones on his back, Schwartz up and in. He had the mismatch with Michael Jones down on the low block, and he took advantage of it. 10 already now for Schwartz. 
Mustang sitting in that 2-3 zone and allowing this penetration and getting a foul. You have to move your feet even on that zone defense. Mustang's kind of flat-footed, allow the penetration and pick up the foul on the block. It's going to be, I think it was on Burchick. Jayden Burchick, his second. Lorenzo Oden, he's going to go to the free throw line for the first time tonight. Five points early for Lorenzo Oden in the first quarter. And Oden too strong on the first one. Uniontown, they 0 for 5 from the foul line. Yet to hit. Wilson will check back in for the Red Raiders, replacing Jones. Second one for Oden. Too strong as well. 0 for 6, the Red Raiders, but Mosley coming in from beyond the three point line gets the rebound, but can't hit the fadeaway. Cavani. Goes back door, cut wide open. Hudson Novak left with nobody around him. Another good look behind the defense as the Red Raiders extend out into the open court. Look for that backcourt cut, and Novak is very good at finding that opening. We've got a travel call again. Mosley got the feet moving too quickly as he was going a little give and go with Ben Wilson at the free throw line. But another turnover, and Laurel Highlands has pulled this back within a four-point game. It's 21-17, Red Raider lead. But everything's changed here in the second quarter. Turnovers from the Uniontown Red Raiders have led to points on the other side for the Mustangs. Changing defense again. The Red Raiders drop into a 2-3 zone. Cavani at the three-point line. Steps inside to the free throw line. Back out to Lasky. He's going to launch a deep three. And Bryce Lasky finally hits one from outside. A big outside jumper. Bryce Lasky, his first three points of the ball game. And now it's a one-point game. That's something that Bryce needs to improve his confidence. But right to the hoop again. Wilson can't get it to go in the rebound with Jake Schwartz. One point game, Mustangs, they can find their first lead on this possession. Schwartz at the free throw line, uh, he traveled. Travel there. He saw the opening and just didn't put it on the floor. Got a little too excited trying to go to the rim. He could have just taken that jumper right there from the free throw line. They gave him way too much space. 355. Wasn't expecting to be that open when he turned around. 355 left in the second. Odin on the left wing, skips it across. He goes inside, does Mosley, finds Howard off the glass, doesn't go, tipped out, last touch by Ben Wilson. Another One empty point possession. One-point ball game when it looked like the Red Raiders might be able to pull, pull away in the first quarter, had a 10-point lead, now we're down to a one-point game. Lasky, he goes to Cavani, he's got Schwartz with him, bounce pass inside, finds Jake. First lead for the Mustangs tonight, 23-22. Make it 22-21, the Mustangs hold their first edge. Odin over to Mosley, inside to Wilson. He'll back down, Schwartz puts up a oh. shot. Looked like a good block, but a foul call is going to go against Jake Schwartz, his second. And with 3.19 to go, you might see Coach Hogger pull him out of the game with two fouls. They're going to say he had a bit of the arm as the official talks it over with Coach Hogger. Problem with that is you got the advantage on the inside. You pull out Jake Schwartz. He and Burchick both have two fouls. Who do you go to? First free throw, Ben Wilson knocks it down. The first free throw made from the line for the Red Raiders. They're one of seven. Five points on the first half for Ben Wilson. Wilson's second one. He got that one as well. Two of two goes Ben Wilson from the line, and he gives the Red Raiders the lead back. It's 23-22. Lasky thought about the deep three, thought better of it. Gives it off to Cavani. Schwartz at the free throw line. Kick out Novak. He's left open for three, and Hudson knocks it down. Hudson Novak with nine points in the quarter. Driving to the bucket, Lorenzo Oden. Novak skies for the board, and now quickly the Mustangs look to go. Cavani all the way to the rim. Left hand, no. Hudson Novak with a putback. Give him 11 now in the quarter. Hudson Novak He's having his way. He's here in the second quarter. Hudson Novak coming alive. 27-23, the Mustangs, a four-point edge. Mosley, Odin, back to Mosley. Armani Williams, he'll take the three. Too strong in the rebound with Bryce Lasky. I don't think Coach Kesmarski wants the Red Raiders to settle for three-pointers either. Novak picks up his dribble, finds Dykert in the corner, right back out to Cavani. Daniel will drive, puts a shot off the glass, but right there for the rebound, Jake Schwartz cleans it up again. 12 
Make it 14 already for Jake Schwartz of the of 29. Those 14, 10 of them were on putbacks. Armani Williams down low. Blown coverage, Malachi Howard left wide open down low. And Malachi Howard on the board for the first time. And a timeout, Rick Hogger wants to talk about it. He One saw that press coming to the red, by the Red Raiders and didn't want to see that momentum switch back. 158 left to go in the second quarter. The Mustangs lead it 29-25. We'll be back with more basketball coverage between Laurel Highlands and Uniontown here on the South Union Township Sports Network. At what point did everything change? When did service get taken out of service industries? It's too bad, because people are busy these days, at life, at work, at play. When it comes to your hard-earned money, you want service, real service, from a person you know and a face you trust. At a bank where changing with the times doesn't mean leaving people behind. We're proud to be a part of your community. We're United Bank, at your service. Good luck to the Mustangs from the South Union Township Supervisors, Rick Vernon, Jason Scott, and Robert Schiffbar. Back on the South Union Township Sports Network. 29-25, the Mustangs lead late in the first half. 158 left to go in quarter number two from the A.J. Everhart Memorial Gymnasium at the Uniontown High School. Dan Wallace, Gary Frankhauser, Jerry DePay on the camera here tonight with you. Cavani will bring it across midcourt for the Mustangs. Gives it off to Dykert on the left wing. Right back to Cavani. Dykert again inside to Novak. He's had a huge second quarter, and it continues. Two more, 13 points in the quarter for Novak. Williams off to Mosley. He wants to drive past Dykert, and he's going to do a good job there to draw Dykert into a blocking foul. Number two on Will. Close call there as uh, Will was kind of backing up and had established some defensive position, but the officials saw it as a block. So that's going to be one and one and send Mosley to the line. Seventh foul against the Mustangs. I will say, though, Gary, the officials have done a good job so far letting them play a little bit, letting a little bit of the physicality go. Usually we see a team into the bonus a lot earlier than 1.30 left to go in the second quarter. Mosley, front end is good. One for three from the line for Phil Mosley. A couple of trays, and that foul shot gives him seven for the first half. Mosley the second one. Strong rebound right to Daniel Cavani. Good box out there. Fundamentals Cavani blocking out the shooter. Gets right. to Lasky. Novak in the corner. Jumper, no. Looking for the rebound was Cavani, but coming away with it is Lorenzo Oden. Odin thought about the drive to Mosley. Gives it off to Jones. He'll drive into the paint. Ball knocked around. Lorenzo Odin comes away with it off the glass. No put back. Michael Jones on the board for the first time. A put back for Michael Jones. Makes it a three-point game. It's 31-28 Mustangs. Novak. J.J. Holbert in for the first time. And he got too deep underneath the basket. Saved by Novak. Right back to Holbert. Lasky. He'll drive inside. Left hand. He's fouled. Well, Holbert found himself too wide open there and just should have taken the layup, but thought about it at the last second and tried to get it back to Hudson Novak. Might have got away with a walk. Lasky cleaned up the mess, but he went to the hoop and was fouled there by number 22, Malachi Howard. That's his second. So Bryce is going to go to the free throw line for the first time tonight. And he hits the first. 
Mustangs, their free throw shooting so far tonight has been better than it has been for most of this season. As right now, four for six. They sit right there at four for seven after that one. Rasky one more, front end, got off the front of the rim and falls in. 33-28, the Mustangs with the edge. Mosley, Odin, he'll take the triple. Front iron and rolls over the backboard out of bounds. And right away, Rob Kazmarski calling for that pressure. Face-up defense coming from the Uniontown Red Raiders. Full, full court, court man press. To man. Holbert will inbound, finds Cavani. But Malachi Howard making it tough for him, and Malachi Howard's going to get a steal. Lays it off the glass. No, right there for the rebound, though, is Mosley. Armani Williams in the paint, and Armani will pull it back out. He'll take the three. Off the back iron, tipped around. Bryce Lasky comes away with the board. Lasky tripped from behind, no call. Kicks it off, Holbert in the corner, down low to Hudson Novak on the block. Novak working on Michael Jones, turnaround jumper short. And the rebound, Jones had it, but Holbert takes it away. Look to dish off to Elijah Gwynn, and he has it stolen as well. Five seconds, Armani Williams into the paint, kick out. Michael Jones for three at the buzzer, too strong, and Novak with the board, but that'll do it for the first half. The Mustangs, after trailing for most of the first half, find themselves heading into the locker room with a five-point edge. They lead the Uniontown Red Raiders 33-28 at the break. And Gary, it was for most of that first half, a lot of what we expected. Uniontown came out in that full court press, forced a lot of turnovers for the Mustangs. They finally got their composure, worked it down low to the big men, Schwartz and Novak, who have had huge games, and that's why the Mustangs right now are in the lead. They finally got those buckets going inside. You're exactly right, and Hudson Novak just turned it on in the second quarter, finding his way to that hoop and being very aggressive, both on the off offensive boards, taking it to down the baseline and also shooting the three. So he's uh, playing a great game so far with only one foul and that'll be very important coming into the second half as the Mustangs will try to maintain this five point lead. We're at halftime between Laurel Highlands and Uniontown at the A.J. Everhart Memorial Gymnasium. The Mustangs they hold a 33-28 lead. We'll take a break and we'll be right back with some halftime stats for you here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Ted Sova Body and Fender Repair, LLC, is proud to be a sponsor of the South Union Township Sports Network. They have been serving the area with quality work and integrity for more than 40 years, and they would like to again thank their past customers and look forward to serving new customers as well. Ted Sova Body and Fender Repair, LLC, works with all insurance companies and provides assistance with car rental arrangements that coordinate with the auto repair work. The rental company will meet with you at our facility to accommodate your rental needs. As a member of the DuPont Assurance of Quality program, our refinishes are guaranteed and all repairs have a lifetime warranty as long as the customer owns the vehicle. Ted Sova Body and Fender Repair LLC clearly recognizes and understands the current and ever-changing atmosphere that exists in today's collision repair and insurance industries. So please contact Ted Sova Body and Fender Repair, LLC, located at Atlas Road in Hopwood. That's Ted Sova Body and Fender Repair, LLC, offering complete collision service for both domestic and foreign vehicles for more than 40 years. For more information, please stop by or call us at 724-437-2351. We care about the environment. We've always been eco-friendly facility and we are currently going through the process of being recognized by the U.S. EPA's Design for the Environment program. For all of your auto body needs, come to Ted Sova Body and Fender Repair because there is a difference. So please contact Ted Sova Body and Fender Repair, LLC, located at Atlas Road in Hopwood. That's Ted Sova Body and Fender Repair, LLC, offering complete collision service for both domestic and foreign vehicles for more than 40 years. For more information, please stop by or call us at 724-437-2351.
Welcome back in the South Union Township Sports Network, 33-28. Mustangs lead the Uniontown Red Raiders at halftime. And now it's time for some halftime stats. And we start with those visiting Laurel Highlands Mustangs. Thank you, Daniel. For the Mustangs, Bryce Lasky, a three-point shot and two for two from the line for his five points. Jake Swartz has 14 points on six two-pointers and two for two from the line. Daniel Cavani, one for two from the line for his one point. And Hudson Novak, all in the second quarter, 13 points, five two-pointers, and a tray. That's the Mustangs, 33 points. On foul trouble for the Mustangs, Will Tyker with two, Jake Schwartz with two, Hudson Novak just one. Chayton Burchek came off the bench and picked up two fouls. How's a look on that Red Raiders side, Daniel? On the Red Raiders side, leading the way in points, Phil Mosley, he's got seven of the Uniontown Red Raiders, 28. He's followed right behind by Ben Wilson and Armani Williams. They both have six points. Lorenzo Odens chipped in five in the first half. Malachi Howard, he put two through the hole. And Michael Jones, he's got two as well, the Uniontown Red Raiders are struggling from the free throw line so far, only three of 10 from the line in the first half. But a pretty clean half of basketball when you look at it from both sides. You already mentioned a couple guys for Laura Highlands with two fouls and only a couple guys as well for Uniontown. They had 16 fouls in the first half. Ben Wilson, he picked up two early on. He sat for the rest of the first quarter, had to sit for a majority of the second quarter as well. And the only other Red Raider with two fouls, Malachi Howard. He's got himself two as well. The only two Red Raiders really that need to be monitored in the second half when it comes to fouls. Everybody else pretty clean. Armani Williams only with one and Lorenzo Oden with one as well. We'll see what kind of adjustments Coach Kesmarcy has to stop Jake Swartz and Hudson Novak who have almost all of the points for the Mustangs with Jake Swartz 14, Hudson Novak 13. They're going to have to try to pinch down a little bit low, maybe force the Mustangs to shoot that three-pointer and beat them from the outside. So it's going to be interesting to see what kind of defensive adjustments the Red Raiders make. Well, on the Mustangs, until they force them to take that outside shot, they're just going to keep pumping it down low to Novak and Schwartz. Only four Mustangs have even contributed in the scoring. And that's it. Cavani's only got one, but Lasky's only got five, and the rest of it has come from Schwartz and Novak. But what Uniontown has to be careful of, once they finally do start collapsing on Schwartz and Novak down low, Lasky, if you leave him that outside shot and you let him get into a rhythm, he's going to knock it down time and time again. So it's a bit of a double-edged sword. But for now, if you're Uniontown, you got to find a way to collapse inside on Novak and Schwartz and prevent them from those easy inside jumpers. You're exactly right. What has been effective for the Red Raiders has been the penetration, even against the zone for the Mustangs, trying to penetrate, get that ball in, in tight, and uh, try to pick up those fouls on the big men. Well, and it does the same thing for the Red Raiders. The Mustangs, with the speed of Uniontown, is forced to collapse three or four guys whenever they drive into the paint, and Phil Mosley, he doesn't drive quite as much as the other guys do. That leaves him wide open out on the wings for the open three-point shots. He knocked down a couple in the first half. That's what Uniontown's got to do. Penetrate, look for the kick out, find Phil Mosley outside, find Lorenzo Oden. You're going to get those outside jumpers. And that'll be it at, uh, as our halftime activities are continuing. And we're going to be back with second half action here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Tonight's game is being brought to you in part by State Representative Tim Mahoney of the 51st Legislative District. With offices in Uniontown and Chalk Hill, Representative Mahoney is dedicated to providing the best leadership and quality representation to his constituents. He can be reached at 66A Lebanon Avenue in Uniontown, 724-438-6100, and in Chalk Hill, at 2925 National Pike, 724-437-2521. Good luck to all of the area teams from State Representative Tim Mahoney of the 51st Legislative District. Just sit right down and you hear a tale, a tale of a fateful call. You better pay those bills right now or you take a mighty fall. He really didn't know what to do, so we turned to those who did. Zeppelin, Mahalo, and White, your bankruptcy crew. 
your bankruptcy crew. So no matter how deep in debt you are, if your back's against the wall, said leave a hollow and white, just give them a call. Welcome back on the South Union Township Sports Network. We're about ready for the second half. Laurel Island's Mustangs leading the Uniontown Red Raiders 33-28 as we start quarter number three. The Uniontown Red Raiders are going to start the quarter with Williams, Odin, Mosley, Howard, and Ben Wilson. And the Laurel Highlands Mustangs are going to go with Dykert, Cavani, Lasky, Inside Schwartz and Hudson Novak, the five starting five for the Laurel Highlands Mustangs and the Uniontown Red Raiders both as we start quarter number three. A little bit different look for the Mustangs in that 2-3 zone, putting Dykert out on top. Six foot two guard out on top, putting Lasky down low on the block. I think that may have something to do with the uh, injuries that Lasky has had over the first half of the season to both of his ankles. Well, and Dykert up top, he's got a little more length in those arms, too, than Bryce Lasky does. Could cause some problems for the Red Raiders up top. Armani Williams, he'll get into the paint. Dumped down to Ben Wilson, but it's knocked out of bounds. Last touch by Jake Schwartz. Once again, able to penetrate against that zone. Armani Williams, nicely done, almost resulted in an easy layup. Howard triggers, quick shot by Phil Mosley. Front iron, doesn't go. And the rebound pulled down by Lasky. Cavani will come away with it across midcourt. Finds Novak in the corner, back to Cavani. Down low, Dykert finds himself in position, dishes off to Schwartz, it's knocked away. But Jake comes back with the basketball, finds Hudson Novak, wing three. Hudson Novak continues his hot streak. Make it 16 for the Mustang Junior. That break at halftime didn't affect him. Williams, back to Mosley, top of the key, has it knocked away. Lorenzo Oden now. Mosley, he'll try the triple off the iron. Rebound pulled down by Novak. Very athletic move there by Hudson Novak, just hanging in the air to pull down that rebound. Cavani, he'll drive, scoop shot off the glass, doesn't go. And Wilson comes away with the board for the Red Raiders. Not quite sure that's what Coach Hogger wants. Daniel Cavani penetrating like that. A little bit of a wild shot. Mosley, Armani Williams. He'll drive into the paint. Floater over Schwartz. Armani Williams got it. Make it eight for Armani tonight. Cavani, the handoff to Lasky in the backcourt. He'll bring it across the timeline. Tight guard by Lorenzo Oden. And Lasky has it knocked away. Howard on the floor after it. He'll hand it off to Lorenzo Oden. Now the Red Raiders want to come quickly. Lorenzo Oden into the paint, and he's fouled. Strong move gonna... to the goal for Lorenzo Oden. He's going to get two from the free throw line for let's, his trebles. Let's see who this is on. It's either Novak or Swartz. It's called on Swartz. That's going to be his third. So Jake might have to take a seat here soon. Three fouls, and right away, Chayton Burchick coming off the Mustang bench. Lorenzo Oden, front iron, falls out, and the struggles continue from the line for the Red Raiders. 0 for 3 for Lorenzo at the line, and Jake Swartz does take a seat early here in the third quarter, less than two minutes in. Five points for Oden in the first half, all of those coming in the first quarter. And he finally knocks one down from the line, 1 of 4, Lorenzo Oden. 36-31, the Mustangs lead the Red Raiders. Cavani off to Novak. Man-to-man -man D now for the Red Raiders. Cavani down low, Novak cutting to the basket. Off the iron doesn't go, and Dykert, instead of bringing it down, tried to tip it home, and it doesn't fall. Good opportunity there for Dykert. Had the clear opening to bring it down and just go back up. Just 
Went a little too quick on the putback. Odin. Looking for the drive. Hand off to Mosley. In the corner, inside, he goes Ben Wilson on Burchick. And he gets the bucket over top of Chayton. Smooth move there by Ben Wilson off glass for the bucket. Eight points for Wilson, and we're back to a three-point deficit for the Red Raiders. Lasky, step back jumper, off the iron. Rebound fought for, and coming away with it is Lorenzo Oden. He comes quickly up the floor for the Uniontown Red Raiders. Looking to go to the rim, has it stripped by Dykert. He's got Cavani and Novak with him. Dykert, he'll pull it back. Lasky in the corner. And inside, Hudson Novak, another easy deuce. Good look there by Lasky to find Novak uncontested on the block. 18 for Hudson Novak. Odin skips it across Armani Williams, the triple. Off the back iron. And Novak comes away with the board. Has it stripped by Armani Williams as he wasn't paying attention. Armani goes right to the rim, scores, and gets one more. And Novak will pick up his second. Hudson just a little bit lackadaisical with the ball there, looking for help from one of his guards. And very alertly, Armani Williams pickpocket to the hoop for two. So Armani now with 10 points. He's going to get one more from the line and knocks it down, 11. Armani Williams now the leading scorer for the Red Raiders tonight. Lasky handling the ball for the Mustangs. Off to Cavani, down low. They want to keep feeding Novak. Tries to turn and fire and said, hands off to Burchick and one. Jaden Burchick puts it up. He's fouled. He's going to get one more from the free throw line. Fouls on number 10, Williams. That's his second. Give credit there to Hudson Novak with the hot hand. He drew at least three Red Raiders to himself and had Burchick wide open. And Burchak completes the three-point play. Something we've seen Chayton improve drastically as the season's gone along, that free throw shooting. So three points for Chayton Burchak tonight as the Mustangs lead 41-36. Mosley off to Lorenzo Oden. He'll drive into the paint. Tried to find Wilson, couldn't do so. Howard finds Mosley, floater in the lane. Wilson comes away with the board again. Lorenzo Oden now. Has hit knocked away for a second. He recovers it. 4-10 left to go in the third quarter. Williams thought about the shot. Takes it to his left. Drives baseline. Off the glass. No. And the ball's knocked out of bounds. Last touch by Uniontown. Good job there by Chayton Burchick. Had the box out and knew it was off the Red Raiders. So he just kept his position. Not allowing the Red Raiders to save it back in. Pressure being put on. Bryce Lasky by Odin, and Lasky dishes off to Cavani once he gets into the lane. Daniel spin move, finds Chayton Burchick. He'll take the jumper from the elbow. Doesn't go, but what a follow by Hudson Novak. He elevates for the tip in. 43-36 Mustangs. Mosley too strong on the three, and Chayton Burchick comes away with the board. Lasky driving into the paint. Dish off, what a look to Diker who lays it in. The Mustangs getting the offense moving now. They lead 45-36, and Rob Kismarski needs a timeout. 3.21 left to go in the third quarter. The Mustangs have found their stride. They lead the Red Raiders 45-36. We'll take a break and be right back on the South Union Township Sports Network. At what point did everything change? When did service get taken out of service industries? It's too bad, because people are busy these days, at life, at work, at play. When it comes to your hard-earned money, you want service, real service, from a person you know and a face you trust. At a bank where changing with the times doesn't mean leaving people behind. We're proud to be a part of your community. We're United Bank, at your service.
We're back at the A.J. Everhart Memorial Gymnasium. Dan Wallace, Gary Frank Hauser, Jerry DePay on the camera with you here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Mustangs lead it 45-36 over the Red Raiders. 3.21 left to go in the third quarter. Odin on the inbound. Armani Williams on the right wing. Back to Lorenzo Odin. Armani Williams one more time. Hands off to Mosley. Down low looking for Wilson. Tipped away by Jayton Burchick. Mustangs really extending that 2-3 zone out now. Not even allow Williams any kind of look from that three-point range. Armani Williams will trigger from the baseline. Deep pass out. Lorenzo Odin left wide open for three. Can't knock it down. And Hudson Novak with the board behind the back. Dribble off to Cavani. And Cavani smartly, he'll pull it back. Lasky, deep three, and Bryce hits. Eight points for Bryce Lasky. And a double-digit lead now for the Mustangs. It's 48-36. That one was from Gallatin Avenue. And a foul, a reach-in. Daniel Cavani tried to poke it away. Cavani only his first foul. Red Raiders, they got to find an answer here quickly. They're in danger of letting this game get out of hand. Odin into the paint, dish off. Ben Wilson found it underneath. Make it 10 for Ben Wilson. Red Raiders will stick with that press, and that's going to be a travel. Oh, they're going to call a foul. Dykert going to the rim, gets called, gets a foul drawn, and they're going to call it against Armani Williams. That's his third. A little bit out of control there as the Mustangs broke the press, but going to the rim just kind of stumbled into the defender. Here's Novak again. Oh, can't get it to go. A quick inbound caught Uniontown napping. But Hudson Novak can't capitalize. Armani Williams down low looking for Wilson. Knocked away. Lorenzo Oden comes away with it into the paint. Wilson again. And Ben Wilson now starting to have his way a little bit inside with Chayton Burchick. Lasky brings it across. The press being put on by the Red Raiders. Lasky dish off, Novak straight up with it and lays it in. Two more for Hudson, he's got 22. Odin lost the ball, out of bounds. Staying with the Red Raiders is the last hit, Cavani. In comes Michael Jones, he'll replace Armani Williams with those three fouls. 159 left to go in the third, it's a 50-40 Mustang lead. Quickly, Mosley takes the shot. Novak says no. Good job by there by Hudson Novak there. The emotions might have got a little bit out of control there. He kept his composure. Nice block. Back to his defensive position. Jones wants to go in the corner to Howard, but Lasky will knock it away. And Uniontown will have to inbound again, this time coming from the near sideline. Howard the inbounder. Finds Lorenzo Oden, back to Howard. Oden one more time, looks to penetrate. Finds Mosley, deep three, got it over Novak this time. Tipped around, and Lasky finds the board. 1.30 left to go in the third. Lasky pulls it back and hands it off to Cavani. Daniel drive, Novak, there was Dykert underneath. Burchick, Cavani, he'll take the jumper from the elbow, doesn't go. Rebound found by Michael Jones. Jones looking to run now, all the way to the rim. Lasky, blocking oh. foul. Wow. Couldn't, couldn't quite get himself set, could Bryce Lasky. As Michael Jones went right into the body of Bryce. Tough call there. Difficult call for the official. Lasky looked like he might have had position, but then started drifting backwards. And that caused him to lose his defensive position and pick up the blocking foul. First shot by Jones, no good. They still struggle from the line to the Red Raiders, and Jones will knock down the second one. Three points for Michael Jones tonight. Dykert has the ball knocked away as he went to the floor, and now Ben Wilson coming to the rim. Wilson lays it in again. 14 for the Uniontown Red Raider big man. And now Lasky goes to the floor, and he lost the ball out of bounds. Coach Auger might need a timeout here to get his team back on track with just a minute three to go. Red Raiders making a little bit of a run here. 43-50, the Mustangs hold the edge. Mosley back to Howard in the corner, 55 seconds. Odin, he'll drive into the paint, up and under move, doesn't go. 
right there for Ben Wilson, right back up. The Uniontown Red Raiders senior is having himself a big night. Ben Wilson puts the Red Raiders back within five. Now it's a two on one. Dyker to the rim. He's fouled. Offensive foul. Oh, my. They called an offensive foul on Will Dykert. I didn't see that one, Gary, but it's going to uh, go the other way, and Dyker's going to pick up his third foul. Rick Hogger is fuming. A little bit of an inconsistent call from one end to the other, but official in the position made to call. Mosley, a five-point deficit. He gets a floater in the lane, and Burchick elevates for the rebound. we got a tie-up. Howard and Burchick. And the ball's going to go back to the Mustangs. With just 29 seconds to go, the Mustangs giving the Red Raiders a couple offensive rebound opportunities with the lack of Jake Swartz in the lineup. 30 seconds to go in the third quarter. A five-point lead for Laurel Highlands. Gavin will bring it across the timeline. And we're going to get a blocking foul out on the perimeter, and it looks like that might be Ben Wilson's third, and yes it is. That's gonna prompt the return of Trent Uphold as Wilson's gonna have to take a seat for a few minutes here. Dykert on the inbound. Finds Cavani. Over to Hudson, Novak. Thought about going inside to Dykert instead. Gives it to Lasky. Lost control of it for a second. 12 seconds to work with. Lasky puts it on the floor. Had it stripped by, Le but Lorenzo Oden is going to be called for the reach. His second, just a team third, or fourth, I'm sorry, in the second half. And I don't know about you, Gary, but that didn't look like too much of a foul to me. I thought he picked it clean. 10 seconds. Lasky, he'll take the three, and Bryce knocks another one down. 11. Huge basket by Bryce Lasky. Odin at the buzzer for three. Way off the mark. And the Mustangs, after a little struggles here in the third quarter, still head into the fourth with an eight-point lead. 53-45, the Mustangs lead the Union Town Red Raiders here at A.J. Everhart Memorial Gymnasium. We'll take a break, and we'll be right back with the fourth quarter here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Centers for Rehab Services, CRS, a part of UPMC and the Center for Sports Medicine, is a proud sponsor of the South Union Township Sports Network and its coverage of area youth sports. Make Centers for Rehab Services your choice for all of your physical and occupational therapy needs. CRS, located at 160 Wayland Smith Drive, provides physical therapy, occupational therapy, work injury programs, and hand therapy. Valuing patient satisfaction is one of their highest priorities. Centers for Rehab Services offers a patient-centered environment where each patient has an individualized treatment plan developed for their specific needs. They are experts in helping you recover from injuries, increase strength, and build endurance. CRS professionals have become highly skilled through a strong commitment to continuing education and advanced certifications to ensure the most cutting edge and cost effective treatment for their patients. Jim Burns, a lifetime Uniontown area resident, is a licensed physical therapist and facility director of the Uniontown location, as well as a field faculty instructor for Duquesne University and for the University of Pittsburgh School of Physical Therapy. He invites you to stop by his state-of-the-art location and discuss your rehabilitation needs. Center for Rehab Services is participating with most insurance plans, including all Highmark products, UPMC Health Plan, and Medicare. Available five days a week and offering extended hours for patient convenience. Patients are seen within 24 to 48 hours and walk-ins are always welcome. Patients may also be seen through direct access, which does not require a physician's prescription. CRS worked with physicians and other health care providers to help you find relief, live your life again, and get you back into the game. For more information, call CRS at 724-437-7500. Where you treat for physical therapy is always your choice, so ask for Centers for Rehab Services. It's your health, it's your choice. Four, three, six, zero, zero, three. 
Welcome back to the A.J. Everhart Memorial Gymnasium for fourth quarter action. Mustangs leading 53 to 45. It'll be the Red Raiders ball at half court to start the fourth quarter. And once again, the Mustangs with a fourth quarter lead. Let's see if they can hold on. Up on top now is Odin. On the left to Williams, tries to drive the lane, back to Mosley for three, short and off the iron, picked up there by Cavani. Gives it back to Lasky. Lasky ahead to Dykert. Cavani now drives a hoop, left hand up and no good. Swartz can't get the rebound. Pulled down there nicely by Ben Wilson. Now dropped off to Cavani as he goes to the hoop. He's a lot of contact, and that's going to be a foul called on Lorenzo Odin, his third. Odin just a little loose with the ball coming up the court. Lost it off his leg to Cavani, and Cavani smartly took it right to the hoop, and he'll go to the line with a eight-point lead and 7.33 to go here in the fourth. Cavani can't get the roll on the first. He is one for three from the line so far here. On the this free, evening. The free throw shooting has been the difference in this game so far. Laura Highlands has been good from the line. Uniontown Red Raiders, they've struggled all night. Cavani gets the second. This is Odin on top. 2-3 zone again for the Mustangs. Armani Williams swings it back to Odin. Being harassed there by Cavani. Kicked the ball away and Cavani hustling for it. What do we got? Call going to be called on the Red Raiders. Number 14, Phil Mosley. Just his fourth. That might be one and one. No, they're going to say it's a six-team foul. The Mustangs will have it out of bounds across the way. Cavani controlling against Mosley. A lot of contact. Reaching Cavani controlling. Gets it to Diker to the hoop. Cavani reverse shot and score. Daniel Cavani, beautiful move on the baseline. Odin to Mosley. Might see the Red Raiders resort to the three-pointer. Williams thought about it. Now dribbles to the hoop off glass. Won't get it inside against the big man. And now we got another call as Mosley gets the rebound. And I think that's going to go on Swartz. And if it is, that's his fourth. And it looks like they called it on Lasky. They did call it on Bryce Lasky, his second. And that'll send Mosley to the line for a couple. Mustangs on top by 11, 56-45. Mosley 4-2, gets the first. That makes him two for four from the line so far here this evening. Second one, got it. Red Raiders will be in this press the entire fourth quarter. And the Mustangs just have to maintain their composure. Swartz on the give from Cavani. And Jake Swartz, his first two points of the second half, having foul trouble back in there for the Mustangs. Odin to the hoop. Off glass, can't get it to go. Rebound pulled down there by Wilson. Can't get it to go, tip out to Lasky. Lasky to Cavani, look to slow things down. Back to Lasky, he'll take the long three and gets another. Lasky from way downtown, his fourth three-pointer of the evening. Odin will try to answer, can't get it. Rebound there by Wilson, and what do we got? Foul called on Lasky again, that's his third. So Bryce Lasky finding the range for the Mustangs will send Ben Wilson to the line. 16 points for Wilson so far here. First one off the iron, no good. All important foul shots in the fourth quarter. Both sides. Mustangs with Swartz, Novak, Dykert, Cavani, and Lasky. The Red Raiders. Wilson hits the second. Be Wilson, Howard, Odin, Mosley, and Williams. Now we got a lot of contact there, and hand check is being called on number three, 
Lorenzo Oden. That's four on him. He's got to be very careful And that now. will be one and one as Lasky will go to the line. We'll see if Rob Kizmarski will take Lorenzo out and out of this game, but trailing 13 points now. Lorenzo Oden, one of your playmakers on this Red Raider team. It'd be hard-pressed if Rob does take him out of the game. What are your options on the bench? Michael Jones is probably the most logical. Bryce Lasky hits the all-important front end of the one and one. And Bryce, a big night for him now as well. 15 points for the Mustang sophomore. And four for four from the line. Mustangs will drop back in that 2-3 zone, extend it out as Howard spins, goes to the hoop, and hits. Malachi Howard, four points for him on the evening. Nice spinning move there. Lasky to the hoop. A lot of contact again, and he throws it back as Howard picks it off. Howard to the hoop, off glass, can't get it to go. Mosley picks up the junk. Kick out to Dykert, smartly slows things down. All kind of pressure, and he didn't need to hurry that pass as Will Dykert, the junior forward, tried to find Cavani on the near sideline, throws it away, turnover, back to the Raiders. We got a timeout call, 30-second timeout called by the Mustangs. That'll give us a chance to take a timeout also. We'll be back. Mustangs lead 63-50 here on the South Union Township Sports Network. At what point did everything change? When did service get taken out of service industries? It's too bad, because people are busy these days, at life, at work, at play. When it comes to your hard-earned money, you want service, real service, from a person you know and a face you trust. At a bank where changing with the times doesn't mean leaving people behind. We're proud to be a part of your community. We're United Bank, at your service. We're back, and the Red Raiders will have the possession after the Mustang turnover. Williams and Odin on top over to Mosley. He'll launch the long three. Won't get it. Lasky with the rebound. Strong with the bound over to Cavani. Cavani will get it back to Lasky. Now the Mustangs have trouble getting it up court. It's out of bounds, and it'll be back to the Mustangs. That's even more important, Daniel, because that's a new 10 seconds now. Yeah, it's a change of possession in the, re in the Mustangs. They're going to get to inbound and get the full 10 seconds to bring it across midcourt. They're going to need all the help they can get against this Red Raider press as Jake Swartz will handle it himself. Hand off to Hudson Novak. Novak quiet so far here in the fourth with 5.03 to go. He'll pick on top for Cavani. Cavani to the wing. Good bounce inside to Swartz and score. Jake Swartz with his fourth point of the quarter. Extends the lead out now to 65 to 50. Couple Mustangs, huge days, Novak. Mosley, Lasky. good pass inside, can't get it to finish. Another rebound and two putbacks. Ben Wilson with the score for the Red Raiders. 65-52 with 4.42 to go. Coach Kazmarski calls a quick timeout. We'll step aside again here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Mustangs to face that jumping man-to-man -man press by the Uniontown Red Raiders with 4.42 to go, a 65-52 lead for the Mustangs. 
That's a Novak, has Cavani all by himself to the hoop. He won't get it, but Swartz will clean things up. Jake Swartz follow up with another hoop, six and a quarter. 20 for him, Hudson Novak's over 20, the two big men. The Uniontown Red Raiders have had no answer for him inside tonight. Williams on top, gets it to Mosley for three, off the back of the iron, no good. Novak with the rebound, but knocks it out of bounds. Just couldn't control it. A little bit outside of his reach, and the Red Raiders will have another opportunity on the offensive end as checking in will be Michael Jones giving Williams a quick break. Mustangs packed that 2-3 zone in, but right in the middle of that zone was Ben Wilson, Mosley, over to Odin. Mosley now drives the lane, running one-hander, got it. Nice shot by Phil Mosley going to the rim with the running one-hander, now Cavani against Howard. Tries to get it inside and that ball's on the court. Lasky picks it up and scores. Bryce Lasky said, look what I found. Picks it up, gets the two pointer. Odin to the hoop, might have got away with a walk. That one's out of bounds and now Dykert. What do we got? Looked like White tipped it but they will give it to White right in front of us here. Definitely was tipped by. That was by, off, that was off Union Definitely town. tipped by the Red Raiders and they get a break and a call and out of bounds now. Jones thought about the three. Odin now thinks Jones will take the dribble into the elbow, gets it up and Wilson cleans up things. The Mustangs falling a little bit asleep on that defensive board as Wilson getting some easy hoops. He's been a bright, Spot for the Red Raiders tonight is Ben Wilson, now 21 of the Red Raiders, 56 points. Lasky behind the back, loses it. Must And here comes the Red Raiders, blocked by Novak. And we're gonna get a call as he was a little bit too aggressive on that block. Had an easy opportunity to the block, just went a little bit too strong and picks up the foul. Hudson Novak, his third, is gonna send Lorenzo Oden to the line. The Mustangs holding on to a 69-56 lead with 3.10 to go here in the fourth. Oden rolls that one out and a little bit of a problem for Lorenzo at the line. Just one for five so far here this evening. Second one up, off the air, no good. We got a call inside across the line. Violation to the Mustangs. The Mustangs need to slow things down here a little bit, not be in such a big hurry to do anything with 3.09 to go. Swartz gets it inside to Novak. He'll track it down in the corner. The Mustangs, they want, to extend, to, Cavani. they want to extend that Red Raider defense. I'm not sure that Coach Hogger is happy about a three-pointer from 20 feet with a 13-point lead and 2.55 to go, but the Mustangs will have it out of bounds. Luckily, he's telling his squad to relax, hold it up a little bit. What do we got? We got the... We're gonna call the AD, AD Aaron AD Scott over. We got, we got some kind of uh, activity that he wants the... Uh, he's talking about the fans here to our left. The... Uh, and he's getting security involved. have involved. somebody to be ejected, I believe. And it is a Red Raider fan, just a little too much aggression toward the official, and now we're going to have him removed from the gym. They're going to hold things up till he till he leaves, and there he. So. So the official exerting some authority here, a little bit too much as he uh, having a fan removed from the game and the Mustangs will have the possession across the way with Will Dykert to trigger it in. Cavani coming out around the top for the pass to Novak, had Dykert inside, but here's Lasky and he's gonna be fouled by Number 12, Ben Wilson picking up his fourth, and that's going to send Bryce Lasky to the line again for one and one. Lasky's been good there. 
four of four tonight. Not who the Red Raiders want to send to the line as they bring back in offensive power with Armani Williams. First one most important. And Bryce on the target. Chayton Burchek will check in. Defensive, offensive substitutions now from Rick Hogger as he brings in Burchek for rebounding purposes on that defensive board. Lasky, second one good. So Lasky, six for six from the line, having himself a very good evening here for the Mustangs. Odin on top to Williams. Williams inside to Mosley, thought about it, but Burchek came right in his face, and now Mosley looking to his left, had Williams, he thought he had Williams going to the hoop, but a turnover in favor of the Mustangs and back in for offense and foul shooting purposes, Will Dykert for the Mustangs. Cavani being guarded by number 10, Armani Williams on top, Novak to Cavani. Mustangs moving very fluently on the offensive side, Swartz, one dribble to the hoop. He is fouled and can't get it to go. So Jake Swartz will be at the line for two. Fouls on number 10, Armani Williams. That's his fourth. So Red Raiders now with three players in foul trouble with four. As Jake Swartz will go to the line for two. Mustangs leading 71-56, 2.20 to go here in the fourth. High arcing foul shot by Jake Swartz, and he is three for three from the line. Well, now those 72 points, Mustangs only have three players contributing for those 72 points. Schwartz, that made it 21 for him. Novak's got 22. Lasky's got 20. It's been a little bit spread out for the Mustangs, but those three, the three big guns for Laurel Highlands, have had huge nights tonight. Swartz, second one, up and good. Extends that lead out now to 73-56. Jones with the shot. Rebound on again by Wilson. He is doing yeoman's work on that offensive board for the Red Raiders. Back inside. Swartz finally pulls one down for the Mustangs. Cavani. Hands off to Lasky. Being harassed there by Mosley. Mosley, a lot of contact. And now we have a foul called. Blocking will be the call out of... The uh, double bonus now for the Mustangs. The foul is going to be called on number 33, I believe. Let's see, who did he call that on? That 33 is not even in the game. Has yeah, to be he on called it on Connor DeMoss, but. Foul's on. Oh, they called it on Laurel Highlands. It's a moving Burchick. screen on Burchick. They called a block on Burchick. Well, there you have it. I thought that might be the call because Burchick came out, set the screen, didn't really get himself set. But he made no indication to the official right away who he was calling it on. Williams can't hit. Lasky controls. Under two minutes now. Mustangs in control. Bryce Lasky has his way to the hoop. Off glass and good. Bryce with the lay-in. 75-56, Laurel Highlands. All three of them now. Lasky, Novak, and Schwartz all with 22. Once again, inside Armani Williams with the garbage hoop. Red Raiders have no give up in them with 1.24 to go, timeout called. Laurel Highlands 75, Uniontown 58, right back here on the South Union Township Sports Network. here on the South Union Township Sports Network for the final minute and 45 seconds of this crosstown rivalry between the Red Raiders and the Mustangs. 75-58, Laurel Highlands on top. Yeah, and these two teams will meet one more time, finishing out the season on February 5th. And that probably will be a very important game for both teams looking to try to secure a playoff spot of the way the things have gone in this section so far this year. Really the only dominant team, West Mifflin. And of course the girls will meet the night before that here at Uniontown on February 4th. 
Laurel Highlands girls won the first meeting. Big win over the Lady Raiders of Uniontown. Cavani controlling for the Mustang. Get it to Jake Swartz. Inside to Burchek. He tries to go to the hoop. Gets it off glass. Can't get it to go. Tipped out and battle for it. Cavani will come away. Mustangs pull it out. Minute to go here in the ball game. Cavani to the hoop. Nice pass inside to Chayton Burchek. Can't finish. Mosley now on control for the Red Raiders. Off glass and Phil Mosley will get two here in the fourth. 13 now tonight for Mosley. A decent night for him, but Ben Williams has been a lot for Laurel Highlands to handle. He just hasn't had enough contribution from his teammates. Lasky to the hoop. Can't get it to go. Red Raiders one more opportunity down the court with 25 seconds to go. Mosley with the shot again. Gets his own. I'm not sure about that call as Bryce never got it past half court unless it was a 10-second call. Yeah, but now he signaled with eight, over and back, though. But now with eight seconds to go, Uniontown will give it to Mosley. Mustangs will just let him go in and shoot. Off the rim, no good. Burchek with the rebound, and that's it. The Laurel Highlands Mustangs come across town to the home of the Uniontown Red Raiders and pick up a key section victory. 75-60 to 60 is our final, and we'll be right back with our final statistics after these messages on the South Union Township Sports Network. At what point did everything change? When did service get taken out of service industries? It's too bad, because people are busy these days, at life, at work, at play. When it comes to your hard-earned money, you want service, real service, from a person you know and a face you trust. At a bank where changing with the times doesn't mean leaving people behind. We're proud to be a part of your community. We're United Bank, at your service. Welcome back to wrap things up here from the Uniontown Red Raiders home, A.J. Everhart Memorial Gymnasium. The Mustangs picking up a 75-60 to 60 win over the Uniontown Red Raiders and looking at our statistics for the Laurel Highlands Mustangs. Bryce Lasky coming up with 22 points with the help of four three-pointers and six for six from the line. Down the stretch, very important with those foul shots. Will Dykert chipped in, chipped in two points. Jake Swartz, in limited time in the second half, came up with 22 himself. Daniel Cavani with four, two for four from the line. Hudson Novak, an inspired second and third quarter, puts in 22 for the Mustangs also. And Chayton Burchek off the bench for three. Their total of 75 by quarter, 9, 24, 20, and 22 in the last period for their total of 75. Daniel, the Mustangs came in and uh, performed well, maintained their composure, and uh, pulled off that win. Let's take a look at those statistics on the Red Raiders side. Union Town, they were led by Ben Wilson, 21 points for the Red Raiders senior. A couple of Red Raiders following him up with 13, as Armani Williams had 13, and Phil Mosley couldn't quite get things going tonight. He had 13 as well behind Tim Lorenzo Oden chipped in six it was Malachi Howard getting in the act very late with four points and Michael Jones he had three a field goal and one foul shot for Jones making 60 points for the Uniontown Red Raiders and a big win in the first of the two crosstown rivalries for Laurel Highlands as that puts them up over the Uniontown Red Raiders in conference play as they move to four and three in conference play and the Red Raiders drop to three and four that's exactly right, and going into the second half of this season, every game's going to be real important, and you're going to have to try to at least hold court on your, home, on your home floor going the rest of the way here to try to secure one of those playoff spots going into late February, late January and early February. And that's a yeah, massive win coming into Uniontown, beating Uniontown on their home floor when these two teams meet at the end of the season. It could very well be the winner of that game goes to the playoffs, and Laurel Highlands is already going to have a road win over Uniontown in their back pocket. So a big win. If Laurel Highlands can come and 
and get another win against Uniontown on February 5th in that game at Laurel Highlands. If these two teams are tied, that's a massive tiebreaker that the Mustangs have. Uniontown has already had a couple upsets this year where they've gone and beaten teams that probably they shouldn't have beaten to get to that 3-3 three and three record in conference play. So a big win for the Mustangs. One more coming between these two teams to end the season over at Laurel Highlands. It very well could be for playoff positioning or even one of the final playoff spots in AAA. The big three for the Mustangs, Lasky, Swartz, and Novak, all with 22 here tonight. And that's going to do it as tonight's game was brought to you as a joint cooperative venture featuring township supervisors, Bob Schiff by Rick Vernon and Jason Scott, Atlantic Broadband Cable, Armstrong Cable, and our friends at CUTV, J.R. Wheeler, Gary Smith, and their staff. This has been Gary Frankhauser, along with Daniel Wallace, Jerry Toupay on the camera, another South Union Township Sports Network presentation. Good night, everyone.